So when we talk about pollinators, we often think about honeybees, right? They, they, they're sort of the poster child for pollinator declines, but pollinators are so much more broad than that. You've got hundreds of different species of bees that live within rangelands and, and natural areas within North America here. You've got butterflies, you've got bees, you've got bats, you've got flies, you've got all kinds of critters. And the plant communities that we rely on for our livestock production ends up being dependent on those little insects that are pollinating those things. That's where the seeds end up coming from. But yet at the same time, the plant community totally supports those things by providing them with pollen and nectar and things like this. And so there's this amazing interplay of pollinators and plants that end up supporting the livestock industry in the United States. So really, really cool, the dynamics that we see. And it's so complicated, almost infinitely complex, the interactions that are going on, it, that these interactions are producing things in ways that we cannot predict. And so for ranchers that are practicing regenerative practices on their land, you know, keeping those animals tight, moving them frequently, allowing rest, getting off of the jugs, those things are having downstream impacts on things like pollinator communities that it just works. So somewhere down along the road, we decided that when we have a pest problem, that we need to control it, that we need to buy a jug and spray it out there on this problem. Without recognizing that that problem, that pest, was never the problem to begin with. It was always a symptom of management. And what we're showing with our research is that through regenerative management of, of livestock, that you can completely eliminate a lot of those jugs. It doesn't have to be an ideological thing, right? Uh, where, you know, I'm anti-pesticide. It's just a good business decision. Why would you pay for something that you don't need? A lot of times when people see insects, they think, okay, that's a pest, that's something I, I it, it's unimportant, right? The reality is that your grasslands, that your families cannot survive without those insects. Those insects are doing things that are contributing to the complexity of the natural world that are producing outcomes that we really need, that we can't always predict. By eliminating them, by looking at them, and all of this life as problems that need to be solved rather than as solutions and opportunities, we are doing ourselves a great disservice. Bugs are good for the business side of farming. You need to have them. When you go out and you hear buzzing, or you hear chirping, or you hear birds flying around, or all of these sounds that are out there, that is the positive outcome of your management decision. And it affects you too, right? You feel differently. You feel it with your heart. That's, that's the sign that you're doing things right.